excuse me for kind of uh, stream of consciousness, but I've taken notes uh, yesterday, so I'm going to start from some uh, preliminary m remarks on the discourse of yesterday. It's connected to what uh, Maurizio was talking about, and there is also some skepticism on the central concept of publico, public, the Latin word publicum. Uh, so the first preliminary remark would really hint at the complex and very ambiguous uh, assemblage of these wordings from the Latin publicum, very different to the Italian publico. I mean, publicum has more to do with uh, the Greek agora and, and what happened then later in the Latin and Roman uh, Empire. Uh, and then you have this uh, other strong component of the concept uh, in the Italian publico, but also in the German word publicum. It is the same like the Latin, but it is really on the other pole, meaning audience. And of course, uh, publicum in the Latin sense uh, is maybe the public sphere discourse of the 19th and 20th century. Uh, Maurizio already hinted to that. Uh, Whereas uh, publico or publicum in the, in the German language means audience mainly. Uh, and, and there you have a huge uh, mm, differential uh, multiplicity of, uh, of meanings behind. Uh, and that leads me to the, the second preliminary remark. Uh, I'm a bit skeptical, as I said yesterday already, uh, ab about the consequences that uh, uh, were taken after the um, ricerca that you did and that we see here in a, its wonderful aesthetic representation uh, because I think when you're uh, first when you start with uh, researching the, the publico, the audience, you're really talking about an outside and of course, there is the uh, danger of othering in this uh, in this situation, uh, constructing the outside uh, as outside, and this is completely different to, uh, for instance, your uh, earlier uh, uh, inquiesta, which was an auto inquiesta. Uh, you see, the difference is uh, is uh, a complete difference, and maybe out of this difference. Uh, it seemed to me, or, uh, at least from what I understood yesterday, that from this position of producing the outside, the public is outside, the audience is outside, uh, you come to a rather cultural pessimistic position of saying, oh God, these uh, terrible images uh, that we had to interpret, this uh, lack of profondità, this lack of qualità. Uh, I think there is a problem of methodology in the uh, underlying in uh, in what we heard yesterday. Uh, nevertheless, I think it's totally interesting and uh, and it's it's a good starting point for our discussion on the on the on the making of publics. So uh, I have brought uh, with me. Um, a bit of a quote from Difference, Re uh, Difference and Repetition, the, the book that uh, Deleuze wrote in, uh, in the late 60s. So it's quite a long time ago, but uh, it's interesting what he writes. It's quite a famous quote uh, about the different forms of distribution and division of space. So we're again with the term of divisione that uh, Maurizio already uh, mentioned. Distribution and even hierarchy have two completely different, irreconcilable uh, acceptations. We must first of all distinguish a type of distribution which implies a uh, dividing up of that which is distributed. I repeat, a dividing up of which is distributed. Um, a distribution of this type proceeds by fixed and proportional determinations which may be assimilated to properties or limited territories within representation. So we have uh, the idea of the first of two 
very different forms of distribution. Uh, the first one is division as dividing up of that which is distributed and it's connected to properties, to limited territories, to segmenting, maybe also to counting and, and to striating territory. Uh, so this is the first one, and the second one, um, no, no, maybe first Deleuze, of course, um, combines this idea of the limited segmented uh, territory of this mode of distribution of space uh, with uh, the Greek gods. It's the gods that uh, are kind of compartmentalized in their own uh, competencies. So, so there is this... Uh, segmented logic and hierarchized logic of gods and it's also of course uh, being uh, mirrored on the level of uh, humankind also there you have this segmentation of competences and uh, the distribution of space there but there is also another form of distribution of space there is a completely other distribution which must be called nomadic a nomad nomadic nomos without property, enclosure or measure. Here there is no longer a division of that which is distributed but rather a division among those who distribute themselves in an open space, a space which is unlimited or at least without precise limits. So this is the quote from Deleuze uh, and I think it makes clear that uh, this other f mode of distribution is a nomadic, maybe a anarchic one, uh, which Deleuze um, uh, makes an anal uh, analogy with uh, not the gods, but the demons. Demons are jumping from segment to segment, are not really linear, but uh, also thwarting the segments and the territories of the first mode of distribution of space. So this was uh, in, a, in the late uh, 1960s and of course uh, something happened as uh, um, you can also read in the, in the concept of the uh, conference here, uh, you were uh, writing that publics are no longer just an occasional event determined within a beginning and an end. It is now rather about making the public's an ever-present reality controlled within time, rather within space. Uh, so when you when you think about the the first mode uh, Deleuze was describing, uh, this kind of rigid segmentation of space, it's rather in this quote it's rather uh, static. It's about space and the limitation and, and segmentation of space. But what we we can follow in the in the logic of the uh, in, in the logic of the res research uh, is that it's more about the movements in time, the movements of the public, the mov movements of the audience in time. So what happens here, and we're still in the f first mode of the Lucian uh, distribution of space, um, is that you have this dynamization of this static uh, mode of distribution of space. There is still a hierarchical distribution of space, but, and there we may be also a bit in the, in the discussions of, of yesterday uh, also about the numero, the valorization of numbers uh, also and so on. There I would add that this kind of distribution of space and time also is uh, um, becomes uh, another form where you have the, the, the idea of um, valorization of numbers, of algorithms, of striating, of counting, of modularization, but also a, dip, uh, a different type uh, of valorization, uh, a valorization of smooth time, of the smoothing of time, which is not to be uh, uh, counted. And that's a very important point. It's not anymore just the, 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 the measures, the numbers, the mode of counting. It is also s some kind of smoothing out of these territories, these numbers. But still, this uh, smooth space and time is uh, um, in, in the center of desire of valorization also. So this is just an adding to what was discussed yesterday uh, about the numbers. Um, yeah. 
yeah, maybe sh I should switch to the question how in this situation um, of a dynamic uh, valorization of space and time, which is a double kind of modulation, uh, modularization, um, uh, in the sense that you, you have this uh, segmented territory still, but also the smooth uh, modulation, modulation with which thwarts territories. Uh, what kind of uh, resistance is possible in this mode of uh, both subservience and subjectivation? I want to to uh, finish my proposals with uh, with three uh, aspects of resistance here, and I think they are complementary to what uh, Maurizio was saying. He was more uh, um, concentrating on the no, and I will be concentrating on the yes. But I think it's necessary to have both of them. As you said, it's a misunderstanding of Deleuze just to seeing him as a flat affirmation you need both of it no and yes and the yes consists in three uh, proposals one is uh, in a way the the old idea of recomposition uh, and i think there we have definitely have to skip from the uh, idea of uh, the dichotomy of public and private to something that you here in in italy uh, know very well and here i maybe have a different opinion than maurizio uh, to skip to uh, il comune uh, to the common uh, and i'm not talking about the the usual first two uh, meanings of the common, meaning material commons as water, etc., air, uh, and immaterial commons as uh, all of the things that are related to copyright and so on. But I'm thinking about the third meaning of the common, which is uh, in a way the uh, connected to recomposition and the concatenation of singularities, kind of uh, more the social composition. Uh, so the commune is uh, is uh, a try to to conceptualize uh, something which goes beyond the dichotomy of the public and the and, and the private. The second one, uh, second level, would be the question of expansion, and there again against the idea of uh, a public that is uh, to be reached by mediation. This is the old idea that uh, there is something produced, be it art or whatever, and there must be a mediation to a certain outside, which is the con consumer side. Uh, and of course, this is uh, a bit uh, a, a kind of s static and, and traditional way of seeing it. Uh, the, my proposal would be that uh, it's much more viral, a viral becoming more than uh, this kind of uh, mediation towards uh, a clearly uh, produced outside as audience. Um, and this uh, maybe also leads to the social media question, or if I'm saying I'm against this old uh, idea of mediation, uh, maybe there is a solution to be found uh, in social media, but my proposal would be just just a very short hint uh, would be not only to to fix your desires on the existing social media like Facebook, Twitter, uh, and so on, but think of uh, founding and constructing new forms of social media. You might have heard of uh, 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 N minus one, the the Spanish-based. Uh, Alternative to, to Facebook, uh, uh, of course, it's a small, minor, uh, minoritarian project, but I think uh, uh, we have to start with, uh, with minor uh, project. In this case, I think uh, because of the Indignados movement in 2011, this project of N-1 uh, became quite well used in Spain, but there are uh, or, uh, always, of course, the, the language barriers here. But nevertheless, I, I think with social media, we have the possibility of uh, a, a viral expansion that is not uh, meant to be in the, in the logic of production, mediation, and, and reception. Uh, third one, and uh, here I will finish, uh, and it's connected to the refuto uh, topic as well as certain aspects that popped up yesterday uh, about strike, shopero, uh, 
it is my proposal to use the term molecular strike. Uh, it's of course a mix of the Gatharian idea of molecular revolution and, uh, and the strike idea. Uh, just hinting at the problem that if we see strike in the in the usual sense of the workers movement as a molar block uh, of workers striking then we miss uh, uh, our contemporary situation uh, perfectly uh, so what we need is uh, and there it's just a concept uh, or maybe uh, I have two examples to explain it also but uh, it's not the very clear uh, conceptualized concept. Um, molecular, of course, means then first the everyday aspect of strike, uh, also effective aspects like the care strike uh, idea. And I think there have been done steps uh, on different levels, even on the macro level, uh, also in the last uh, three years of uh, movements, I would say that aspects of the Occupy movement uh, developing further into into Getzi Park uh, and and many other spaces that we don't even realize. For instance, I I got to know uh, last year that uh, there was an Occupy movement even in Armenia uh, and I think many other places that are not in my in our minds uh, but I think there of course the the modes of organization are forms of molecular organization can't go further into that but this is in a way the macro level and mm, I want to finish with uh, two examples or two hints at uh, at micropolitics uh, also from Spain where I think you also have this molecular movement moment in it uh, in it one is the old uh, uh, practice of pre precarias a la deriva um, uh, queer feminist um, uh, practice in in mainly Madrid of uh, thwarting or uh, having the reefs through the working situations and uh, of, of different women. I, I think uh, some of you might know that, so I'm not going to go deeper in it. Uh, uh, but the last example would be the uh, Plataforma de Afectados por la Hipoteca, which is a wonderful uh, example of the, the Occupy movement or the uh, um, M15 movement in Spain deterritorializing its uh, forms of assembly and occupation. Uh, and going into the uh, society, trying to defend uh, the people who are um, 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 f um, in danger of eviction from their homes because of their hi hipotecas, uh, and where a huge network and a very wonderful network in Spain is developing, still developing, on a seemingly micro-political level, but through its viral expansion becomes really uh, a good example of what I would call um, kind of the traces of molecular strike. Thank you.